Hey everyone, it's your girl Lizzo and we're at the International University of East Africa and I'm here with a beautiful lady. What's your name, darling? Dagira Jamira. So Jamira, we're going to talk about the International Youth Day that was celebrated last month. Mm -hmm. So my first question is going to be, how did COVID affect you as a youth, as Jamira and Dagira? I personally, I couldn't do anything in COVID. First of all, and second of all, education-wise, we were actually, by that time, I was a candidate. So, you know, whenever I'm seven, it'll be like, we are going after 24, you know, that, that period, 24 days, then kept on proceeding. So actually, we had to sit, I had to sit my UNEP for, it was like two years, you know? So it was a day, yeah, and now it has actually affected me. Because some people is uh, one year ahead of me, but then me, I'm still backwards. So I personally, it affected me in that way. So how best can the government help the different Dagiris and Jamiras out there? I think the government should just come up with uh, solutions of creating, like maybe circles, coming up with different things youths can do. Yeah, because I personally, okay, I know... Okay, I'm a sports person, but then the government should actually come up because I know there are some other people who did not actually go back to school and it wasn't so nice for them, but then they can come up with a skillful, you know, sports at least they can push them. Okay. So in the president's speech on that day, he mentioned that he has have tried to bring out different initiatives, strategies, uh, programs to help the youth uplift them. But surprisingly, too, there are very few people who are participating, very few youths are participating. What do you think is the main reason why this is happening? I think it's happening because, okay, maybe when he says that, some people do not make a fall up. Actually, it will be so easier or even, I think some people, they do not have access to, but they would like to perform or they would like to, participate but it's really so hard for some people remember some people live in area, like different you know deep deep areas so it's really so hard for them to get the you know communication maybe or even what he communicated did not reach the deep areas so you feel like these programs are not reaching to the people in the remote areas exactly. and then the people in the youths why are they not participating because if the number is still small there is a reason why why do you think people in the urban centers the Dagiris are not participating in these programs and I think it's just a, an interest someone if someone gets an interest of course you'll find them joining or you find them participating but I think they should also come up with more other different things not only maybe focusing on maybe like should I say sports maybe focusing on sports not only that some other people because we have different perceptions or we have different how should I say it? Different likes. Yeah. I think I'll phrase it in that way. Okay. So, you know, uh, there are very uh, various things that have been taking place that took place during COVID-19. And uh, we got effects like teenage pregnancy, high drug use, and mental health issues. So how best can the government intervene and help the youth to pass through that? I think they should just educate more, like, educating them at a young age, at a tender age, maybe like 12. That's where the government should come in, you know, you have to intervene to educate young girls at their early age. That was Dagir for you and that was a point of view. Thank you so much.